Yo, what's going on guys? It's JDooth here, bringing you guys another video. Now, I'm super excited today because I have a brand new map for you guys. Today, I'm super excited to bring you guys my first ever PvP map. Now, this is a game mode unlike any other. It's called JDooth's Box Wars 1.0. I'm definitely gonna be making a lot more in the future. If you guys do wanna play the code and just wanna test it out for yourselves, here's the code right here. You guys can pop it in played in playground fill whatever you guys want to do with it my idea with this map is i really like the idea of box fight maps and i also really like zone wars now there is problems with both of them so i wanted to kind of you know find a good mix of the both of them the problem with box fights for me is like it's too crammed uh if you're not super good at editing you know it's kind of difficult to do and the problem with zone wars if you're not good at like building people are just going to crank to the sky i mean it's pretty unfair if you have high ground you're probably going to win now this map has a really unique way of combining the two of them i'm to hop into that in just a second but before we do hop in guys i would really appreciate if you guys drop a like in the video it'd really mean a lot if we can get over 1,000 likes on today's video also if you guys want to go ahead and share this map code with all your friends get it kind of moving in the community i think it's gonna be really cool i think box wars is a great idea for everybody and one more quick favor guys if you guys got a notification for today's video i want you guys to type the word seal down below in the comments youtube's been really weird guys some people that have post notifications turned on they don't even see my videos, so I want to make sure that, you know, you guys are seeing my stuff. Make sure you guys let me know down below if you guys are seeing this. But anyways, we're going to hop in the map, guys, and show you guys around. All right, so hopping into the map, we got this little starting room with the cool, like, space and UFO type theme. I don't know what this is. We got JDoof's Box Wars with my creator code right there, which you guys could definitely use in the item shop if you want to. This map is really simple. This is how to play. You're going to choose a weapon loadout and teleport into the arena. And then the last one standing in the arena wins. Pretty easy. There actually is background music on this map. So if you guys don't want to have it on, like I don't want it on right now, you're just going to go to your settings and turn the music all the way down to uh, zero, just like that. But this is the starting room where players spawn in right before the match starts. And then you guys will enter the spawn rooms. All right, so moving into the spawn rooms, this is what it's going to look like. What makes this map really cool, unlike Zone Wars and other maps, you guys get to actually pick out your loadout right before the game starts. So I got like a basic variety of uh, different types of weapons you guys can use. There's also the option to upgrade your weapons. So if you guys want to get, you know, a scar or like a purple pump, you guys are going to have to pay for it. I believe all of these upgrades are 150 materials, and I think you have a total of 900 materials. So it can get kind of costy, but it is definitely worth it, especially this purple pump. It works really great. Now, the only issue right now with the map, guys, is the teleporters have been kind of glitching out. After 15 or so seconds, this entire spawn room fills up with a storm. So you got to make sure that you teleport into the arena or else you're just going to die. I've seen a lot of people die in the storm, and that's because these teleporters are not working you know, perfectly right now. The only uh, way around this I find is like crouching into the teleporter. That seems to work. So if you guys are having issues, you know, going to the teleporter, make sure you guys are crouching and kind of going like back and forth through it. But after this spawn room, you guys are going to teleport into this huge arena, which is actually not as big as you guys think. As you guys can see on the floor, this like little patch of snow, this little square right here. This is the only area you guys can fight in. There's actually barriers across the entire square right here. And this entire outside is actually just decoration. So we decided to go with like the same theme. We got like this little UFO attack thing in space with the little, you know, asteroids and stuff coming in. I think it looks really cool. There's a really cool feature in this map that I have not seen in any other maps out there. So say you're in a full lobby of 16 players. If this was, you know, just a huge square of 16 players, it's going to be really chaotic and pretty hard to win. What I ended up doing is putting this middle divider and after like a minute and a half, it's about halfway through the entire match, this divider goes down. So what this is going to allow you guys to do is kind of split up the players. So if it's a full lobby, instead of it being 16 players in the entire arena, you're only going to have eight on each side. It's going to make it a lot less chaotic. And also, you know, if you get to win on one side and be like the last man standing, it'd be pretty cool. This map is really cool because the rounds are actually only like four to five minutes long. So if you end up dying like off the spawn, you don't have to wait very long before the next game starts. This is going to be really good for playground fill because I know a lot of people rage quit. So hopefully uh, less people do that. Uh, as you guys go through those teleporters, you guys are going to spawn in these boxes, which you have to break out of just like that. And then once you're out of the box, you're going to go ahead and fight and try to be the last one standing. As I mentioned earlier, halfway through the match, this invisible barrier actually goes down and the ufo uh has like a light beam go down there it's really cool you guys will be able to see this in the highlights i show you guys later but down below the map if we turn this thing on right here 
it's gonna have this moving zone going up and down and it's actually gonna be taking damage for i think it's 20 hp so after the entire match of fighting and the barrier goes down there's actually gonna be a moving storm that pushes you guys towards the center of the map and this is where you guys are gonna be stuck in this area of like the 20 ticking damage the reason i have this is so people aren't just like camping at the very end of the match and that you know there actually is a winner each and every game overall i think it's a really cool map i haven't seen any other maps like it so i'm really looking forward to uh seeing you guys play it as i mentioned earlier you guys can definitely go play in the code it mean a lot if you guys can just spread this map around you know pop in the playground fills type it in for people basically just try to get people playing this map man because i think it's really cool i think you guys are going to definitely love it and i really want to come out with more versions in the future so if you guys have any ideas make sure you guys let me know down below in the comments i'm always ready to update the map also just for you guys watching the video okay i'm not going to share this with anybody else but there is actually a little easter egg on this map so if you guys are in a game nobody else is going to know about this unless you watch this video this little satellite on this far side right here if you actually shoot this this thing has i think 2000 health yeah 2000 health if you break this satellite in the game it's actually going to turn on these spawners which are right here in the middle and these have a chance of either giving you some more materials and there's actually a gold rpg in there so if you guys you know want to get a gold rpg it's like a little easter egg you guys can just break that satellite. It's gonna be a really cool little Easter egg for you guys out there because if you're in Playground Phil, I don't think anybody's gonna know to shoot this thing. So, you know, your boy's looking out for you guys. Anyways, this has been the map right here. I'm gonna hop into some highlights I got from today's stream and show you guys the map, uh, how it plays and everything. Once again, if you guys could drop a like on the video, that'd be highly appreciated. And the code is down below in the description if you guys wanna play for yourselves. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys watch the highlights and I'll see you guys later. I really like this game mode because it's like a combination of box wars, box fighting, sorry. It's like a combination of box fighting and, uh, and zone wars. It's really cool. I hear you. It's over here. I don't know why I did that. I learned this. Oh, sh shoot. That guy just gave up. Like, like what happened right there, dude? If I'm going like super focus mode, I'm sorry. Really hard for me to like just you know play not look all stupid you know Ooh. wait that wasn't game i'm dead chat i'm dead chat no, I'm not. Okay, jeez, I should have lost that fight. GG's, GG's, GG's. Oh my god. What am I doing? Dude, that was really sloppy. Holy cow, dude. Dude, I can't double edit to save my life right now, chat. Yeah, that sucks. I used the exploit. That was a good kill. I'm trying to find things I should change on this map, guys. I don't even know if anyone's there. So for sure, I want to make the, the purple pump shotguns more. Oh shoot, I just got a double kill. I did not mean to do that. So check this out guys. See how it says that UFO is making strange noises? Watch, it's gonna do something in a second here. Boom, it's gonna turn on the little light beam. It's also gonna make the barrier go away. And now you got the whole lobby fighting. It's kind of a cool way of doing it because if I have it open, you have 16 players fighting at once, which can be really, really, really chaotic. So I like to split it up like half the lobby at a time. And then, uh, like halfway through the match, you get to fight everyone. The only thing I think I want to change, the only thing I think I want to change is making the purple shotgun a little bit more and maybe like the traps a little bit more. I want to make the things that people want the most a little bit pricier, you know what I mean? Because usually like they're more OP and stuff. Oh god, I almost got destroyed. That's the guy that killed me last game. GG, buddy. Man. You're such a smart player. No, you're not. Ah! Dang it, dude. That was a good play. He waited for me to break in. 
put his trap, but instead of him like editing, he should have just kept me there, so I got hit by the trap. That was a good play, Austin. Jeez, dude.